Hello everybody, it's Sister Mary with Homesteading Haven. I'm giving you an update on our bucket garden. We are doing really good here with the red hot chili peppers. They have went from this, uh, let me see if I can get it over here on this side. They went from this little green right here. If you'll see that right there. They went from that to this brownish green color and now to this beautiful bright red so we've got one two three red peppers that are ready and it's getting cooler here in Tennessee so I thought about uh, going ahead and getting these red peppers at least one and just chop it up maybe with a green one too and put it to the side for a chili condiment and then also I will probably try to see what I can do to preserve some of these Maybe in, uh, you know, vinegar or whatever it is that I can do to just get me a, a jar of these so that when I want them, I just pick them off and, and they'll be ready to eat and chop up and enjoy. We're moving on to the bell pepper. Look at that beauty right there. I'm going to remind everybody that these are planted in these $1 buckets that you can get at your local Dollar Tree, $1. Make sure that you... Uh, put you some holes in the bottom. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the soil. If you can, and you've got an area, if you don't, you're just using potting soil. But if you can, use some soil that you've already got on your land. Put it, up, put it in the bottom. Put you some rocks in the bottom. Also put you some sticks. And then on the top, the top layer... Make sure that you are putting back the soil that came with the plant. Put that around the top. And any sticks that you can find, just put them up there. All of this is like a filtering system. And I learned this from another lady that Bucket Gardens in California. And she just said that it helps to maintain your potting soil or your soil that is in your bucket. And your soil that is on the ground is going to be a lot thicker and heavier than this potting soil that we buy in, in the bags already. So this is going to help you maintain a good soil level without it feeling like, feeling like after it rains that it is just washing right through and you're needing to add more. This is an eggplant. It's doing beautiful too. Not sure how long that will have to continue to be on the vine because we know that that is he gets much bigger than that. Uh, one more thing that I want to tell you before I end the video is make sure that when you are using these buckets that you leave some room for your plant to grow. So a lot of times we think we need to fill up the level of soil right here to almost the top and you don't you need to keep it down lower this gives this more stability it gives your plant more stability so uh, I learned this uh, you can learn a lot of things from YouTube thank you so much for former video youtubers vloggers that have done videos on gardening especially the ones that encourage you to plant in buckets all right you have no excuse get busy get busy gardening and do it right here now winter months are ahead and yes we are going to change what we are growing because these are going to go out of their season of growth their time of growth and then those you know mustard greens and uh, turnip greens and broccoli and uh, cauliflower, um, I'm trying to think, spinach. There are other things that we will plant for the winter months, and we will, we will be bringing you those videos also. So God bless you. This is Sister Mary with Homesteading Haven. Remember that it, greater is he, Jesus, that is in you than he, Satan, that is in the world. And if God be for you, who can be against you?